we have the sales order that sales order which is having header and lines in which the header status will be booked line status will be different again sometimes line status also booked these statuses are very important as a part of interview why because the status keeps on changing whenever you ship the item or you reserve the item you pick the item but order address status will not be changed that is the reason you have to remember what is the header status at the time of booking the sales order or at the time of entering the sales order and after that when we are entering the lines after booking the order the line status also changes sometimes it is also booked and if you progress the order that becomes awaiting shipping then you go for pick release pick release what is pick release this is the question again pick release is the functionality through which the sales people are going to raise a request to the store that request to the store is called as move order that's what we discussed as a part of inventory that move order is nothing but a request to the store from sales department so that the store department guys will transfer the material from main store to the sales area what is sales area that is called staging sales area is nothing but staging staging what is staging this is again another question staging is the sub inventory which is meant for only sales department the items which are transferred from main sub inventory to staging sub inventory it is said to be pick released pick release is the functionality through which you are going to create a request to the store based on the request to the store the main store guys are going to transfer the material to the staging area what is staging area it is a sub inventory again once the items are transferred to staging area we are preparing the delivery number what is delivery delivery is nothing but a document the items which are going to be shipped to be loaded from the staging sub inventory to the vehicle into the vehicle that means we have delivery note that is the document which is consisting of what are the items what is the quantity and ship to location all these details will be there in the delivery note based on the delivery note the vehicle will be vehicle will be loaded when vehicle is ready with the delivery then we are going to ship the item what is ship confirm shipping is the process of delivering delivering the item to the customer so the moment you do the ship confirm item goes out of the organization we know the organization structure all the items will be there in the inventory that inventory is the inventory organization or warehouse in the warehouse we have different partitions and each partition is called sub inventory and right now we are going to ship the item from staging sub inventory to outside to the customer to the customer ship to location item is going out till now we didn't discuss any financial impact but we are going to discuss now first i am repeating the class that we did yesterday i want the questions if you have any questions you can raise the questions and if you don't have any questions if you are not having any questions i will proceed with the session yesterday what we did we ship confirm after shipping the status of the shipping transaction line changes to interfaced interfaced is the line status of the shipping transaction line at the same time if you see the sales order line status it can be shipped or it can be closed it can be interfaced any one of these if it is closed that means that line is ready for invoice keep in mind if the line status is closed then only that line is eligible for 
invoice. If the line is not invoiced, what is it? Invoice is billing. Invoice means receivables. You know, whenever you are selling the item, we have to receive the cash from the customer. We have to receive the cash from the customer or a check. It depends upon. If customer gives the check, we receive the check. If customer pays the amount, you are going to receive the cash. It is very important to have the financial transactions. You know, what is debit and what is credit? Do you know what is debit and what is credit? Everybody, everybody might be having an experience with a debit card. Whenever you got a salary, salary, you go to the ATM machine and you withdraw the salary. A part of salary, not totally. Okay, whatever the amount you want. The moment you take the amount, you will get an SMS to your mobile number saying that so and so amount has been debited from your account and the remaining balance account is this much. What is that debit? And credit, similarly the inverse transaction, reverse transaction is credit. There are in Oracle for every transaction whenever you are moving some item, that item is having itself, you know, itself is having some cost multiplied by the quantity. How much quantity is shipped to the customer? That much quantity multiplied by the unit cost of the item. Okay, that is the worth of inventory. But you are selling the item. Cost is different. Price is different. It is very important to have the difference between cost and price. What is price? With profit. What is cost? Without profit. Cost is without profit. Price is with profit. Which is more? Price is always greater than this cost. If price becomes equal to cost, then there is no profit and there is no loss. There is no gain and loss. Always your selling price should be more than cost of the item. Inventory always maintains item cost only, not price. But you are selling. Your sales department concerned about selling price, not cost of the item. But inventory guys, store guys, how much worth of the items have been delivered? That is cost. But what is this revenue? Means customer is paying something. That payment will be more than the cost of the item. How many items he has taken? He might have taken 100. Multiplied by the unit cost of the item is 10. Let us say. 1000, 100 into 10. 1000 is the cost of the material that he has taken. But we sold at 25 rupees or 25 dollars. Okay, 25 multiplied by the 100. That is 2500, 2500. The worth of the item that you have taken from the inventory is 1000 only. But you sold at $25 each one. And total value, extended value is 2500. That is revenue minus cost of the goods. You sold the items which is having some cost. You sold the item with selling price. So price is always more than the cost. When price becomes equal to cost, there is no loss or gain. Now revenue is 2500 and actual cost is 1000. 2500 minus 1000, 1500 is the margin. Means we should know here the financial imp impact, the COGS. General term is COGS, C-O-G-S, C-O-G-S. What is COGS? Cost of goods sold, cost of goods sold. The name itself is indicating cost of goods sold, whereas we have the revenue. The revenue is always Okay, revenue is always unit selling price multiplied with quantity. I said the cost of the item is. What is cost of the item? Have you ever seen the cost of the item form? 
see i will show you let me go to inventory and it is very important it is the financial we have to know any interview go to any interview nobody asks for the transactions history i like a scenario tell me the order to cash vehicle so you are going to create a quotation code to sales order sales order has been booked or picked and you reserve the item shipped the item invoice the customer this is scenario but always whenever you are showing some experience into your catches on financial impacts for every transaction item is going out what is debit and what is credit which account has been credited which which account has been debited can you please tell me that so you should remember what is financial transaction for every movement of the item let us see now see our transaction we discussed sales process yesterday i am giving the gist and further i am we are going to discuss many concepts of sales order a shipping process we have pricing concept we have credit check hold and at the same time delivery partial delivery partial shipment we have different scenarios then internal sales order then drop shipment order we have these many scenarios are there we are going to discuss before that first you understand the order what is order to cash cycle what are the financial impacts for every transaction now cost item cost we have what types of costing methods standard average fifo lifo what is fifo what is lifo what is standard what is average very important concepts standard this is what i am showing standard because here this project see this is the beauty of the thing i am showing the real time system remember this is a this is the real time system this is you know my client system i am going to show this is entire thing is real time i have the i have the vision operations like uh, vision instance but i don't want because already you completed some classes and i want to show you real time only right now this is what real time this system actually if you go to client if you are working for a client this is the system that's it we are using one test instance of my client that's it so make this opportunity because that is the reason you cannot see sital manufacturing or whatever it may be vision operations you cannot see that these all data you know we built it these organizations have been defined the codes and details everything has been defined that is the reason you couldn't see sital manufacturing here it is real time system it is actual client system we are not authorized to show to anybody but it is test instance no issues see it is cloned from prod john 13 2015 you can see here cloned it is train instance training instance we use it to train on this instance for all the users so similarly if you open the production instance it will be shown as gold instance gold G O L D gold always indicates production or production we give the name as production prod P R O D so I am showing the real time system anyway you have the vision instance in the lab so you keep these recordings and if you want if you have the doubt scroll it left and right and have the scenario and practice very well. okay so it's very you are very lucky to see the real time system this is the system which is real time a client is using we implement it and we are supporting and this is one of those instances this is train instance where we are going to train all the end users with their questions and their practices or whatever it may be so i'm using the same session for you as well okay now is asking whenever you are asking whenever you are opening something it is asking the organization to be selected similarly to your system sital manufacturing also you are selecting sital manufacturing as an organization m1 similarly m instead of m1 i can go for anything okay let me take booster okay w o o 
that is ust now i want to find simply so that it will find the cost of all the items we discuss only real time so i'm not going to show any sethal manufacturing or vision instance here i have the session vision instance but i'm not going to show we well, let us work on real time because you're all keeping experience let us work on real time only see these are all items these are cost types and you can see here what the unit cost and we have zero here okay why is zero sometimes it might be zero okay but we have some values here some items might be they might be maintaining zero cost also so these are all item costs in dollars okay you can see here frozen very important question this is the concept of inventory because if you are going for manufacturing or sales or whatever it may be how it is affecting the cost of the item in case in case it is standard cost only one time we update that's it only one time yearly once or periodically like quarterly we will be updating cost because quarterly means for every 3 months we are going to change the cost of the item today's cost is 10 dollars after 3 months it might be 12 dollars so we have to update until and unless you update it it cannot be changed okay how to update the cost see every item is having a cost that cost is coming here but if you feel that this item cost is wrong and you have to update manually but when you are having many items bulk items to be updated at once what is the procedure before that you should know what is frozen what is pending it's a very important topic inventory i don't know whether kirti madam told you or not but it is very important topic cost management is very important because cost management we have different module but we are going to use that in manufacturing in sales in item inventory maintenance inventory management that is the reason because your finance especially you may not be belonging to finance department or you are not having a finance background you are not a commerce guy or ca or icw guy but still you should know because you are experienced you might have worked with finance consultants some discussions you might have done in the conference room pilot while having the discussion with the user community this is what real time so then what happens finance people will be there sales people will be there sem consultants manufacturing consultants will be there they will be discussing with the key user so key user raises the question and that's that question we are we are going to answer financially finance people will be answering but from supply chain management point of view manufacturing point of view we are going to discuss at the same time you know it is a kind of integration between different modules okay so in this process you should know while having the discussion with the finance people finance people will share the knowledge of finance where is the what is the distributions of accounts for every transaction that you have to grab that you have to remember in future by keeping those financial aspects you should be able to suggest you should be you should be able to design the solution for your system that shows your experience only experienced guy can can talk about finance impacts otherwise simply they will talk about only scenario order to cash procure to pay make to order pick to order that's it only scenarios they talk about they book the order pick the order ship the order invoice the order that's it it's not the it it won't show the level of knowledge depth of knowledge i will tell you now cost this is the cost okay but it is frozen let me show you so when you have standard cost of course for standard cost only you will be having spending and frozen what is pending what is frozen i'm going to show you update costs okay 
if you want to update any cost of the items, bulk items, this is the concurrent request. See cost type. Here it is pending. We have frozen there. Why it is not showing frozen? Keep in mind, it's very important question. How you are going to update the standard cost? This is the question from inventory point of view. If you understand the cost, then only you will understand COGS. When you understand COGS, cost of goods sold. COGS means cost of goods sold. When you understand COGS, then only you will understand what is revenue, what is profit, what is loss. Because we are going to, as a part of supply chain management, we are going to set up what are the profit, loss and accounts in the organization parameter. I will show you. I am going to show you in the inventory setups. If you don't know this finance aspects, you, you, sh you should know this. If you are not knowing this, if you show some experience, you are useless. Why it is showing pending here? In standard cost update, always we are going for pending first. After going for pending, to frozen, to to bring it to frozen, frozen means it is over. Frozen, the meaning is, you know, freeze, frozen, you, we have. What is frozen? It is done, that's it, over. Next process is nothing. But pending, yes, there is something pending to be done. That's what we are going to do. Freeze it, so that that is frozen. Once frozen, that's it, over. That is the cost, final. So, we are going to Type your every any time if you are copying the cost from any other organizations, any other organizations, or you are copying from some organization. Whenever you are going for rollout, I am telling you a real time situation. Today we have gone live for one organization. Today they have they have opened their new plant at some location. That is Utah. Utah is the one of the states of US, and we did all the setups and everything for that organization we have 400 uh, 400 to 500 items that is a kind of distribution center now what happened you know, what happened they told me i want the items cost as same as our Worcester organization that's it Worcester is the city in the Worcester they have another plant and what are the items they are having in the wood plant, the same cost, whatever the cost is there for every item in the Worcester plant, the same cost should be there for Utah distribution center. If that is the case, then what should I do? I have to go for standard cost update. That's it. Update standard cost. Okay. Then we are bringing to pending. Okay. Then See, we are going to update it, right? Means, just now I have, shown, I have shown you what is the cost of the some of the items. Some of the items are having cost, some of the items are having zero. But after running this, the cost will be updated. Zero becomes five, zero, zero becomes ten, or what are the item cost? Some items will be having a cost of five rupees, or five dollars, or ten dollars, twenty dollars. That zero is going to be updated with ten, or twenty, or fifteen. Then what happens? There is a difference between cost. Zero becomes 50. Means what? 50 value to be adjusted somewhere. What is that? That's what this account. This account. What is this account? Account is nothing but I told you in the initial class. I took some inventory class. That time I told you what is chart of account. The chart of account is nothing but combination of different segments. The different segments are here we are following, this company is following six segments. Some company might be following seven or twelve or thirteen. Maximum number of segments till now used in the whole world by G, General Electricals. You know? they, are, they are using maximum thirteen segments. They are forming thirteen numbers together to form one chart of account. That is the size of, you know, always segments decides the size of the company. Here, we have company, department, account, product, class, intercompany, future. What is the importance of this? You can ask. You should understand what is out of account. I told you, 
initially i have given an example of phone number telephone number your bank account number is 18 digit number or 12 digit number or 10 digit number it's not one number if you have your mobile number 10 numbers the moment if you say the first five digits i can tell you the network that you are using in your mobile now of course we are going to switch over to another port and from Vodafone to Dr. Docamo or whatever it may be ETN to Verizon we are we have different ports the same number we can use for another network also right now but if you go for five years back the moment you say 91 it is 8L it's starting with 77 it is Docomo it is 9160 then it is Vodafone you are able to tell right how you are able to tell that means that number itself is an account whereas the first five digits indicating the network the next five digits are indicating the customer ID total together ten digits forming one number and which is nothing but a chart of account but you are adding nine one in case you are calling from international number you are calling from foreign countries you are going to add zero zero nine one what is that zero zero nine one meant for country so we are forming three segments to form one unique number that is telephone number similarly I will give I'll go to combinations percentage click OK I can see all the combinations can you see that 01 meant for company company is head of the groups head of the groups may be indicated with 01 Zero to another branch, another distribution center, or another plant. You can have multiple. Okay, zero one is the main company group. You know how many accounts are there? Can you see that five thousand one zero nine? See, can you see that in the bottom of the form? Choice in the list. How many accounts are there? Five thousand one zero eight or one zero nine we have here. And whereas all these accounts are indicating, what is that? first one first segment is company next segment is department whereas 00012 or 00011 11 meant for one department 12 department 12 meant for maintenance department 10 meant for production department like that you can have and after that you have account number this is account no, this is called as material account, this is called a WIP account, this is called a resource account. That is how we are going to have. In real time what happens, if you are a finance guy, you will easily understand what is 1305 meant for materials. What is 1265? It is meant for expense. What is meant for something? 11, uh, 1100. Then it is meant for expense. Or services for outside processing I will you know I will see the account number as 0931 so you will have different numbers for different entities different segments here product class what is product class for this client you know it is a fabric this you know this company is having a product of fabric that fabric is a kind of can be used for parking lanes you know parking sets having a lifespan of 20 years that is uh, you know that is what uh, their product you, you use it as tarpaulin right tarpaulin I can say the example is tarpaulin this company manufactures different types of tarpaulins the tarpaulin as per the size customer sizes they provide they produce and they will provide to the customer and customer uses in the parking lane, parking sites in the parking what happens you have to keep the car inside the parking zone that means on the shade on top we use it to in India we use it to make asbestos or, uh, seats right similar to that here they use this kind of tarpaulins having a span of 20 years it's just cloth but such a good quality which you know they will be uh, processing with the chemicals and they have plastic over the uh, over the uh, like uh, cloth 
the cloth will be inside but on top of that there is a plastic and there is some coating and they painting all these things they have some process of manufacturing and we are going to discuss the same thing in the manufacturing I will show you what are the operations are there I'm going to show you real time because we are working on real time so this is one kind of project and real time project I'm going to show you only real time no vision instance no settle manufacturing or I'm showing only real time now so what is product class if you want to understand product class see if you take for example let us understand by Tata Motors Tata Motors is also having a pickup pickup van or seven seater Tata Magic you can see seven seater in Hyderabad what is that Tata Magic we have Tata Indica we have Tata pickup van means again which will be have used for um, uh, transportation we have Tata buses lorries we have tippers trailers these are all classes I think you might have understand now you might have understood now what is product class similarly if you take cloth is it trouser cloth shirt cloth or is a kind of kind of sari so these are different classes similarly if you go for automotive industries the classes will be like this is it a car is it a tipper is it a lorry or a van seven seater or an auto or an auto all these things are classes so 0300 meant for buses 0152 meant for autos 0171 meant for tipper like that we will be having different product classes intercompany what is intercompany means what we have internal sales order we have internal sales I told you initially I have given an example of Gujarat and Hyderabad for having Tata Nano example Tata Nano is the item manufactured in Gujarat also a product of Tata Motor we are getting the same item from Gujarat to Hyderabad but manufactured only in Gujarat Gujarat is sending the items to Hyderabad what kind of sales it is it is called internal sales we are not selling to customer Tata branch of Gujarat is selling the item to internal company of Hyderabad Tata Motor branch of Hyderabad so that internal requisition will be created from the Hyderabad so that requisition means they need some items that requisition will be passed on to passed on to Gujarat Gujarat people will have the sales order against this requisition against that sales order the Gujarat Tata Motor is going to ship the item to the Hyderabad Tata Motors Hyderabad is going to receive the item and keep in the store so this is what what is future future means we are not using right away but in future my business may demand another segment to indicate something else like product class like account like department like company I might be having something else zone I want to indicate zone journal area or a state wise I want to ind indicate state yes I can indicate but future why because if you are unable to provide the future segments in case your business has grown up and you are no more having additional segments that's all your impl implementation has gone it is said to be flop over business has gone up but you are unable to map your business why because segment structure will be decided only once it is key flex field segment in general ledger sort of accounts are key flex field segments it is key flex field not a descriptive flex field descriptive flex field we have two types of flex fields we are going to discuss in the setup I think already you might have discussed I think inventory setup is over you might have heard about to what extent what depth of knowledge you have I don't know but we are going to discuss again don't worry we have two types of flex fields DFF and KFF KFFs are mandatory DFFs are optional forget about DFF 
but KFF without KFF there is no business. KFF brings the chart of account. This structure is coming from KFF only. That is coming from GL, General Ledger Key Flex Field. This is one of the Key Flex Fields from General Ledger. Okay. Now, I have to give some adjustment account. Why? I told you, right? We are updating the cost. 0 becomes 10. Means, you are increasing the inventory value. That means, somewhere you have to decrease. I have an example, right? ATM machine. You withdrawn the amount. How much? Your salary is 10,000 in which you withdrawn 1,000 dollars. Means 1,000 has been debited or credited. You got an SMS. So and so amount, 1,000 dollars has been debited to your account. Who is telling? Bank. From your point of view, it is credited. If bank say it is, it is debit, from your point of view, you are the second person. If you are becoming first person, it will be credit. So that is the reason. Don't be confused. In the SMS, you are getting debit. That means in Oracle, that is nothing but a credit. In SMS, you are getting a credit. Your salary got credited into so and so account. On first, you use it to get the message, right? Into your mobile. Credited means deposited from bank point of view. But from your point of view, from Oracle point of view, because I'm using Oracle, I'm the first person. I use it to say debited. That's it. So that is the reason. Keep in mind, you remember your SMS. Your salary always credited. Means deposited from bank point of view. In Oracle, whenever you are going for interview, the same deposit, you say, my account has been debited. Means... In our case, deposit means positive, means debit. It is exactly reverse to the your SMS. Just remember, this is the thumb rule. Otherwise, in the entry, you use it to say sometimes credit, debit, and in the entry, you will be confused. Why are you saying that while putting, you are saying sometimes debit, while putting, sometimes you are saying credit. What does it mean? What in your point of view, what is credit, what is debit? You will ask the basic question. Then if you confuse, if you are confused, then you will say a wrong answer. When you are unable to answer what is credit and what is debit, you are unqualified, you know, you are disqualified for the position. That's it over. So you have to remember, because I was facing the same issue. Initially I was not mechanic, I was a I was not into finance, right? I was a mechanical engineer. So I don't know what is debit, what is credit. Even that time I was having, I passed my B.Tech in 2001. I started my job in 2001 as a mechanical engineer. I got the salary of 3000 per month. That time, I was not having even debit cards. Debit cards I have, but it's not into, I use it to take care of, you know, that book and I used to go to bank and I use it to update it by the bank person. That was the situation. You know, that time I don't know. I use, no, I, I, I'm, you know, I was not having sell even that point of time. 2001, I hardly, it, it was very costly. I was not carrying my cell phone also that time. Never, I didn't get any SMS. But while facing, you know, I faced the interviews of 25 interviews. Almost all, I walked iTech City with my barefoot. Completely, I failed. 25 interviews, I failed, literally. The, my, my first company is IntelliGroup. Before entering, entering into IntelliGroup, now it is Entity Data. Before entering into IntelliGroup, I failed literally. Sierra Atlantic, whatever you name it, everything I failed. Ramkey, everything I failed. But nowadays, everybody who is facing the entries of 5 to 6, they are getting the job. Because now we are getting expertise and we are the experts and we are giving all the interview questions and you are able to prepare questions and answers and the interviewer is asking the question, same question, you are able to give the same answer. This is how the pattern changed. But in interview, this is these are the kinds of questions will be you should be ready for ready to face. So description, it is standard cost update. I have to give you a name. Short, 
So is it specific item? Are you looking for certain item? It's up to you. Specific item, you have to enter the item, specific item here. If it is not all items, I am going to update. Let's see how to select all items. Short by item. Update option. See, it is asking. Are you going to update overhead, resource, activity and item cost or resource, overhead, item cost? It's very important. What is overhead? What is resource? What is activity? What is material? What is outside processing? These are all sub-elements. If you take a cost of the item, cost of the item might be $100. If you distribute, you know, if you drill down that particular cost, the material cost is 75 and then overhead is 25. Why? What is overhead? You might have purchased this item for 75 rupees from the supplier. Supplier supplied the item. But to bring that item to your warehouse, you used your transportation for which to bring the one item, you spent already $25. That means that 75 you paid to supplier, but you spent on transportation as 25 that is coming as overhead so altogether it is 100 but when you drill down 75 will be shown as material or 25 will be shown as resource or sorry transportation that is called freight that is called overhead so what are the elements I want I'm updating the cost I'm updating the cost so that Whatever I am copying from another organization, that organization is having the cost of the item with material cost, resource cost, outside processing cost, overhead cost, all together which is coming $1000. I don't want 1000 in material. If the material is having 700, 700 should be there. If 200 for transportation, it should be there in the flight. Then resource, any outside processing cost is there, that should be coming in OSP. OSP means outside processing. These are the sub-elements. That's what we call sub-elements. Okay, all sub-elements together, it is forming the cost of the item. Okay, so I want, like, I want all the respective act activities wise and all those things. All the items, so I don't need, no need to enter any item. Okay. This is how, then click OK and submit. This is, it. this will update the item cost. But before that, what is the activity you are supposed to do? I am telling you. See, we have cost mass, cost mass edits, okay? Copy cost information. First you have to do this, then you have to update the costs. This is the procedure. What is cop, copy cost information? You know, this is also request. It is copying from copy item costs okay across the organization see we have see we have across the organization what does it mean I told you already cost management comes from bills of material if you see the module have you seen this right hand side application is bills of material we are covering all the modules like inventory purchasing order management advanced pricing bills of material working process cost management these many modules nobody covers okay this is the only insurer which provides manufacturing supply chain management includes advanced pricing and cost management and which is very important when you are showing experience most of the questions from finance I mean your finance knowledge over the supply chain and manufacturing so if you take across the organization what does it mean you are copying from organization I told you right we are starting the new branch in another state so that state of course we started but what are the items we are assigning to that particular organization should have some cost that cost equivalent to which organization cost that is what we have to select from from which organization we have to copy from I want all the items for the new organization if my new organization is UTD Utah and it has to be copied from Wooster we have to select copy from and then copy option see it is merge or merge and update item call existing cost new item new cost information only remove and replace all the cost information merge and update existing costs 
It's up to you whatever the option you want based on the situation. From the cost type. See? From. From the frozen you want to take. If you are taking from frozen. There is nothing. If it is pending there is still a chance to update this as well. Frozen means it is done. You cannot update. So always we used to bring to pending first. Any specific item might be different from the that particular organization cost then we are going to update manually then we are going to close it as frozen by running the second request this is first request that is what second request okay then to cost type from pending to which cost type pending from that particular organization pending to pending or frozen to pending it's up to you okay like that you have to select range okay all items I told you I'm not going for a specific item all items you have to sell at all items then sub element here the option is see create sub elements yep definitely means material should be copied to material resource should be copied to resource outside processing should be copied to outside processing expense should be copied to expense this is what what is sub element I'm going to discuss corporate this is currency currency conversion time corporate okay this is currency conversion actually okay I will show you now this is the method this is the first request you are going to run and after that copy cost information after that we have to run this once you have completed this request then you have to run the update costs now let me show you setup costs sub elements see is it material overhead defiles activities we have material overheads it is very important question what is material what is overhead why we are discussing all these things because we are going to discuss the financial transaction financial impacts in the order management you are going to sell the item where is debit where is credit item is going out Sometimes item is getting transferred from main sub inventory to the staging sub inventory. Is there any financial impact? We are going to show that. In the inventory, I already did yesterday's transaction. See, we did one sales order. Right? We remember the sales order number. This is the one. Let us see what we did yesterday. For that, what is the financial impact? Let us see. Go to transactions. What we did yesterday, we are analyzing today financially because we are going to understand the financial impact in the order management how invoice is getting created what is the invoice where is the debit and where is the credit what is cox what is made what is revenue what is receivables okay what is clearance customer should be cleared you know their customer payment should be cleared then only it is said to be customer can leave peacefully otherwise he will be kept under due. If he places the order, we will say that, boss, you didn't pay the previous payment. We are not going to ship the new items. You first clear your due, our due. You have the credit credit limit or you are a cash customer. Means you are not giving, we are not going to give a credit, single rupee credit or single dollar credit to you because you are not a credit customer. Okay, now let us go to middle transaction. Okay, we did yesterday. For you it is 16th, for us it is 15th only. Okay, now let us see. Transaction type, source type as sales order. I can say transaction type as sales order issue. You can filter by like this. Sales order issue. What we did, let us see. Is there any transaction? Nothing has been done. Any transaction we did? From first onwards, let us see. Fine. In the booster, nothing is there. Oh, I think you have, we have done from Utah, I think. Okay, let me see. Change organization, it's simple. Utah, I'm going to Utah. Any transaction we have done yesterday? Yes, let us see. 
metal transaction we did yesterday from 14th okay let me see fine nothing okay what sales order we did okay let us see you can open any sales order for, so for understanding the cost costing concept i can show you anything okay change organization Ute. Ute, uh, then transactions uh, material transactions uh, then delete this from I want to do it from match first okay click OK to this find okay you have got to transaction types here you can see sales order issue okay yeah sales order issue is there you have distributions this is sales order issue transaction type means what the moment you do the ship confirm that is called sales order issue this entry question what is the transaction type from the inventory that that is going to be used for ship confirm the moment you do the ship confirm what transaction type is used it is sales order issue before ship confirm you have done the pick release can you tell me what is the transaction type that you use from the inventory while doing the pick release that is sales order pick okay this is very important question now sales order pick what it does you are moving the item from main sub inventory to the staging sub inventory but items still exist in the organization okay now let us see for the same order for the same order for the pick release what is distribution there is no distribution because we have to remember what is pick release pick release is a sub inventory transfer a sub inventory transfer your financial impact will be there if there is a change in the financial values if you are transferring the main or some item one item from main sub inventory that means that is there in the inventory with a cost that cost multiplied by the quantity that much value has been depleted from main sub inventory and you kept in the staging staging is also sub inventory part of the same inventory organization you are decreasing and increasing in the same organization then what is the use of having accounting impact it is simple if you have two types of accounts in the same account number you have internal accounts let us say one is your loan account your saving account sorry loaning loan account and your payment account both can be in one account only one user ID having two accounts you are transferring from one account to another account but total value same your account value is same your organization your your pick release is the functionality through which you are transferring the item from item from one sub inventory to another sub inventory but both the sub inventories coming from same organization is there a decrease in the quantity of on hand quantity nothing on hand quantity remains same simply we have changed one sub inventory to another sub inventory on hand quantity is total together of across the sub inventories over your quantity there is no change in quantity when there is no change in quantity then how can you say there is a change in value there is no value change so there is no distribution for picking now coming to sales order issue for the same sales order for the same item after pick release we did sales order issue that's what here sales order issue now let us see why are you showing debit and credit now let us see if you click on this account control L it will open the account see it has got negative 146 plus 146 accounts are different see 1345 4012 debit gone to 4012 credit gone to 1345 what is this this is nothing but finished good what is finished good finished good you sold the item to the customer 
item has gone from the finished goods of inventory to staging from staging it has been shipped to customer that means credit what is credit minus that 146 is the worth of that particular item has been credited to this account similarly this is negative positive has gone to this account see if you observe these accounts only one segment is different have you observed that or some of the segments are different see this is department is different for this account for this account this is finished good and department is mountain DC it is distribution center mountain distribution center it is department okay now the same value negative value has been you know deposited to another account what is that account this is the account control L it has been debited to, to debited to Cox now we are going to your sales order issue transaction we sold the item to the customer we picked item from staging sub inventory the staging sub inventory is the inventory the inventory is having cost multiplied by the quantity that is the value that is nothing but finished good in the previous account we have seen we have seen now that has been credited yes when item has been shipped to customer item has gone out means from where it has gone out from sub inventory so negative decrease happened in the sub inventory so finished good has got negative 146 whereas positive we sold the item so we are indicating what you sold you are indicating by cox c o g s cost cost of goods sold this is the account okay this is the department to which it might be okay it is for this department it has been sold that means whenever sales order issue happens the moment you do the ship confirm tell me the accounting entries at the time of ship confirm this is very important question you have to understand credit goes to material account inventory material account that's what fin should go we have shown here and David goes to where you have issued you have given to cost Cox, cost of goods sold. We have given to customer, but we are indicating once you sold, you are indicating that value into Cox. Cost of goods sold without profit. Cost of the item that you you have taken from the finished good is equivalent to cost of goods sold. But actually you sold with a price which is more than the cost of the item. That is revenue. That is revenue. Okay. Now this is the accounting entry. What is the accounting entry now? Now let us do. Let us open Excel. Now, transaction. Then, debit. Then, credit. Now, debit credit what is the transaction use yesterday we did transactions first one what we did sales order okay is any transaction nothing not applicable not applicable right okay now after sales order booking what you did pick release pick release pick release is having Okay, let us insert. Uh, yeah, pick release is having. Uh, let us insert another column. Okay. Pick release is having. First one is release to warehouse. Right? Means what? Move order has been created. Move order has been created. Any transaction? Nothing. It just document has been created. Now, what is next? You have transacted move order. Transacted move, move order. Right? That's what we did yesterday. When you transacted move order, what happened? Item has been transferred from main sub inventory. That is called finished goods sub inventory to staging. 
But Fincher Goods Cyber Inventory and Staging Cyber Inventory, both are cyber inventories under the same organization. Means, how much quantity you transfer, let us say, one item, having a cost of $100. 1 into 100, 1 multiplied by 100, how much? 100. That has been credited to, decrease it from where? Decrease it from Fincher Goods Cyber Inventory. Means, Cyber Inventory indicates inventory. Inventory material account. So, debit has gone to inventory material account. So, debit means increase, right? So, sorry, control X, negative. Sorry, you have to remember here, I am I'm indicating sign here, minus positive. Debit means positive, debit, de, sorry, minus, it is, oh, what is this? is negative okay let us write like this negative it's positive very important here okay now these two let us highlight this like this okay now now we are doing transact move transact move what happens item is getting transferred from main sub inventory to the staging sub inventory so we are decreasing from inventory so negative goes to inventory material account decreased how much quantity one quantity has been decreased of initial goods sub inventory but you put that one sub one item into which sub inventory staging transact mover what happens you are transferring the item from main sub inventory to the staging sub inventory then what happens so the same value here it has been negative now it is going to be positive but both the sub inventories are coming from inventory so debit and in debit and Credit goes to same account, inventory material account only. So there is no, that is the reason in the transactions for pick release there is no accounting entries. Why? That is nullified. Is there any value? Nothing. Debit negative and positive has gone to same account because sub inventories of insured good and staging, both are sub inventories coming from the same inventory organization. As long as the item is there in the same organization, having two different sub-inventories, having the same value. So, negative, positive into same account. So, there is no accounting entry for picking. Next, ship confirm. The moment ship confirm, item has gone out. Means, first of all, from inventory, item has been decreased means item value has been decreased how much value cost of the item multiplied by the quantity that much value has gone to negative where inventory material account that's it now to whom you are given customer you sold so you sold the item with price but that price is not equivalent to this value because this is cost multiplied by the quantity which is equivalent to cox then we are going to recognize the cox cost of goods sold so cox account will be de debited that is positive we are decreasing here we are increasing cox thereby you are going for invoice when you invoice what is invoice invoice means billing let me show you okay let let me show you invoice now so it's responsibility order management let me show you the order first what is the order number one lakh five one zero 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 hundred thousand five okay now f11 give the order number five control f11 Okay, now the lines closed. Now, is it invoiced? Let us see. Right click on the item. 
additional line information invoices yes there is invoice number this is invoice if you open invoice details this is invoice this is invoice number this is reference number this is reference nothing but sales order number and having the line information what are the lines you have this is ship to bill to coming from customer name okay have you remember what is bill to what is ship to coming from sales order headers and terms then line information what items if you come to lines let us see now See, this is the item has been sold. How many rows? One row. Unit price is this. This price multiplied by the quantity is the revenue. This price is different. Cost is different. Cost always will be less than this. So, no tax. Okay, now unit selling price is 533, 37.47 multiplied with the quantity this is the unit selling price totally total value that is nothing but revenue means now let us see the distributions okay see this is revenue have you got it revenue has been recognized it is this is entry question when when is the revenue got recognized you are selling the item tell me you ship the item is the revenue recognized? Question. No. Then when the revenue is getting recognized? The moment you do the invoice. If there is no invoice, you simply shipped. Only COGS got recognized. COGS got recognized, but not revenue. If you want revenue to be recognized, then item should be invoiced against the customer against the sales order the item shipped has been shipped to be invoiced so revenue got generated so this is the revenue account so now accounting entries I will tell you see sales this is sales account sales account is the revenue and which product product class which department this is the department this is the company so that the moment they see what is the work of finance people they are controlling all these activities you know by class wise what is the sales for this month they are going to easily find out they will simply give the combination of 0033 and the sales happened against this product class for this month simply they give for this class we have this much revenue which class has got more revenue in this month they you know they, from there they are going to forecast you know during these months this kind of items will be having more demand so they produce more they have advanced supply chain planning so they have some inputs for forecasting all these things will be taken care so this is the controlling finance people always they talk about chart of account what is debit what is credit what is the importance they are going to maintain they are going to control but actually you are doing the work sales and everything manufacturing sales everything is done but controlling you know controlling our planning action forecasting all these things are happening from finance point of view that is the that is the reason the you know finance and supply chain these are heart of the companies you know without these modules there is no company at all now now let us fulfill this set so see it first okay now invoice Invoice means what? Revenue got recognized means debit positive revenue. That is nothing but sales. Just now you saw. Okay. You invoice. Does it mean that you received the cash? No. Invoice meant for printing. You print the invoice and give it to customer. Then customer pays. That means customer has not paid. So customer is due towards receivables that we are going to receive it so negative goes to receivables this is receivables account you have to remember all these account 
this is very important topic today what are the topic we are discussing it is very important in interview point of view and very complicated you have to remember you are not understanding listen these audio files these video files for many times and remember these accounts and importance of these accounts. that's it if you are a finance background of course you will you may not uh, you might be uh, understanding this concept very well but if you are like me like you are a manufacturing or you are a, simply you work as you know HR or any payroll guy or you are a sales guy or a marketing guy or a distribution guy or inventory guy then you have to understand nothing there is no shortcuts for this you have to understand what is receivables what is revenue what is sale what is cogs what is inventory material account you have to understand else you cannot answer this question now invoice we have the revenue recognized receivables which is indicating negative that means you are going to receive the cash from the customer now customer what he does you printed the invoice you have given to the customer customer is knowing now he is giving a paycheck or a cash means the moment he gives the cash what do you do you make a receipt you have to make a proof saying that you received the cash means you are going to make a receipt it's simply huh? you go to supermarket you bought something you pay something he is going to bill, give a receipt right saying that you paid that's it it's very simple as simple as that it is simply a receipt that means you are making a receipt again is the cash that means customer has given the cash when customer has given the cash where is the negative this is the negative that should be positive now so we are going to positive this you know you are going to make it positive receivables we received the cash that's it then negative clearance that's it clearance final over nothing this is very important question if you understand this that's that's the end of the class for today because we did a simple transaction by booking the sales order by picking what you did what is financial impact for that picking we did shipping what is the financial impact for shipping and after that invoice has been generated the moment auto invoice but if you know how to run the auto invoice I'm going to show you auto invoice of course auto invoice always will be generated automatically the moment sales order line is closed invoice number will be coming here after running the workflow background engine that's it over but let me show you how to run the auto invoice in the receivables we have to switch over to receivables module then interfaces then auto invoice single request view request auto invoice master program click ok invoice source invoices what invoices you have to see that see it is what invoice source you know we'll be having different sources what is the importance of this source it's nothing but it is international sale internal sale trading sale what quarter building you know we have different kinds of you know the way it is the feasibility of it is the flexibility given by the receivables people to have to track in different sectors it is just like you know segments are having product class and all those things they are having different side types of invoice source because this source is linked to order type that's what we are going to show why because invoice source this is linked to order type your order type has been entered in the sales order header itself have you seen that if you open the sales order in the header we have order type this invoice source is coming from that order type that's what I'm going to show you invoice source then default date by today's date when you ship the item when you are going to invoice that so that date you are going to enter like it is 15th or April 15 sorry then sales order number you have to enter sales order number from and to if you are running invoice for one sales order of course why I have only this in case you have 
it is already invoice, so that number will not be there. But these are the sales orders pending for invoice. We have to select that. And if you are running for only one sales order, from end to you have to enter both the fields, you have to enter the same sales order. In case you have 10 sales orders from 1 to 10, you can select 1 in the first field, 10 in the second field, then click OK. All the invoice will be generated in one shot. That's it. This is the it is a request. Once the request has been completed, your invoice number will be generated and that will be visible in the additional line information in the sales order line. Okay. Let us understand now what a sales order line and a header in the what is OM invoice, invoice source and all those. So let us understand this. This is a sales order number. This is the order type. Copy this. In the setup, we are going to discuss, but I, I want to show you because better, for better understanding. Query the order type, F11. Transaction type is this, Control F11. If you go to finance, see, this is what I have given in the auto invoice. That's it. That's it for today. You have any questions? Please. Anybody?